So, tutorial for today, we're going to start looking at uh, task one question types. Now, what we're going to look at now first is the process. Now, um, it doesn't come up as often, it's not as common as the data based kind of reports, you know, the, um, the, the graphs, the charts, the tables. Oh, yes, of course, this is the academic part um, one. I'll do a video another day about the letter, you know, formal or informal. So for today then, um, the, the, the process. Now the reason that I've chosen this is because it's the easiest. It's by far the easiest question, so it's a good one to get started with. Um, why is it easy? Well basically because there's no figures or data. Nothing, you know, there's no figures or data, there's no key features to include or exclude. That's often the problem with, with the graphs of the charts of the tables. You know, you have to decide what part of a graph, if it's a line graph, what do you include, what's the main feature, what do you write about, what don't you write about. But here, all that you need is to count the stages, then it's a list. You list the stages using sequencing words, you know, appropriate connecting language, first, then next, finally, afterwards, during, meanwhile, etc. It's just really easy and simple. So let's take a look. Now, we've got two types, natural and man-made. So it could be something like the life cycle of a silkworm which is what we're going to have a look at. This is a very common question. I found this on about five or six different sites, so I thought I might as well use it. It's a good example. Um, could be a cyclical process like the silkworm because it goes round like in a cycle. Uh, it could be a linear process such as make in coffee, which is what we're going to have a look about here. So. Linear process, it has a clear start point. It starts, goes in a straight line, and finishes at, at the end. It's usually the natural processes that have a cycle, you know. So the, uh, the moth lays eggs, turn into larva, turn into a cocoon, turns back into a moth, lays eggs, blah, blah, blah. It goes round and round and round, you know. Um, so another point. I want to mention is for a man-made um, a process we need to use the passive voice. Beans are harvested, the coffee is ground. Whereas for a natural kind of a process we need to use the active voice. The worms make a cocoon, the moth lays eggs, etc. So um, what you need to do then is first, you know, understand the the process. Spend a bit of time looking at it. Where does it start? As I said, is it a cycle? Is it uh, is it a linear? Count the number of stages. Uh, what's the relationship between the stages before and uh, after? What structure do we need to answer the question? Well, in terms of structure, it's pretty straightforward. It's basically the same as the others. Uh, you know, all question types, sentence one, paraphrase the question. The diagram, the diagrams illustrate um, the life process of the silkworm and also how silk cloth is made or manufactured. Um, the diagram illustrates the process of how a coffee is made. And that's it. That's all. Yeah. So you paraphrase the question. Then, now this is the important part. This is what lots of people fail to include, given an overview. Now, if you look at the criteria table, all right, um, every task one says, give a summary of the main trends or features, which is essentially an overview. 
Now, it's best done after the introduction, I find. We'll take a look at a couple of examples in a second. So you paraphrase the question, you give an overview, what's the main trends, the features, but no data in the overview, no figures. So you put the details, the figures, the data, the stages in paragraph two and three, so, well, or three and four, I should say. Okay, so as I mean, this um, video t today is going to be pretty short because this is easy. There's not a lot he here, you know. When we're talking about the essays, if you think about the essay videos we've been having a look at uh, in previous weeks, there's obviously a lot more there because, you know, you need to give reasons, examples, you need a logical progression of ideas, etc. I mean, the criteria is here uh, also. If we if we look and see, I get my pen out. Uh, hmm. So it's basically the same your grammar, Lexis, cohesion, coherence, and your task achievement part. If we look at this, we need an overview for main trends, differences, or stages. We have to have an overview. So that's the difference here. But apart from that, it's basically the same. Logical organization, a progression, grammar, vocab, etc. In terms of organization, for the process question, it's quite straightforward because it's basically, it's a list. Stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four, blah, 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 blah. Cohesive devices here are first, then, afterwards, during, secondly, thirdly, and finally. So it is, it's pretty easy, it's pretty straight uh, forwards as we'll see. So let's get back to the example. So uh, take the life of a silkworm at first. So paraphrase the question. The diagrams illustrate the stages, oh, hang on, the diagrams hmm, illustrate the stages in the life of a silkworm. I'll also show how silk cloth is produced. Production, silk cloth, life cycle of a silkworm. Okay, so that's not too bad. Now, the overview. From an overall perspective, it can be seen the life cycle is a natural cyclical, as in it goes round and round, a process with four main stages including the laying of eggs and ending with a new moth emerging from a cocoon. The production of silk, however, is a man-made linear process consisting of six stages. So, one, two, three, four, eggs, moth, layers, okay. Production of cloth, select, boil, unwind, twist, weave, and dye, six stages. Okay, so sequencing words. First, the adult moth lays eggs, which take 10 days to hatch into silkworm larvae, who then feed upon mulberry leaves. Okay, this stage can take between four to six weeks before the larvae build themselves a cocoon of silk thread, which takes around a week to complete. The larvae remain in the cocoon for about a fortnight before emerging as adult moths ready to begin the life cycle once again. In the manufacture of cloths, the first stage is selecting the cocoons to be boiled. After this process, the thread is, un is unwound to a length of between 3 and meters, and finally the silk is twisted, woven into thread, and then dyed. 179 words. Now, that's quite straightforward. That's it. All that you do your paraphrase, an overview, is it a natural process, is it a man-made process, is it a cycle, a linear, how many stages, and that's it, and then first, then, afterwards, so it's basically, it's a list, you know, and then for the cloths, and that's it.
Now, let's take a look at um, the man-made one now. How coffee is made. So it's quite straightforward. The diagram illustrates the process of how coffee is manufactured and prepared for sale in the market. So this is it. Pick the beans, dry them, roast them, cool, grind, mix, strain, freeze, grind, dry, and package. Okay, so from an overall view, it can be seen that this is a man made linear process. 11 sta stages, ranging from the beans first being picked and ending with the coffee being packed into jars ready for sale. So, first of all, the beans are harvested and laid out to dry in the sun. After which, the next stage is for beans to be roasted and rapidly cooled before being sent to the grinder to be ground down into granules, which is what usually happens in a grinder. Following this, the granules are mixed with hot water and the subsequent mixture is then strained. The mixture is subsequently frozen. Subsequent, subsequently, um, I'll change that. Then frozen and ground down a second time, following which it is vacuum dry to allow the water to evaporate. And finally, the coffee granules are packed into jars and labeled, ready to go to the shops. Now this one's a little bit short. It's exactly on 151 words because there's not a lot to actually say here. It's pretty straightforward, you know, but 151 words that would do because you've got the introduction, you've got a good overview, and then you've got all the stages. Maybe I could have expanded it, made a couple of sentences, broke the, uh, broke the stages up. I don't know, I think it's been to be roasted, roasted, cooled. Uh, so it was that the cord. I could have maybe um, mm, what's this? After which, following the uh, next stage is oh, the next stage involves the beans. Hmm. being sent to the grinder to be ground down into granules. So I could have broken that up, but it's pretty straightforward. You could usually put two or three stages in a single sentence. And I think now I, I've only extended it by a couple of words. 144. Oops, because I missed that end part off. There we go. Let's have a look. 156 now, yeah, yeah. So, five extra words. So, that's it, really. As you can see, there's not a lot to to say. The process question, really, it is quite easy. So, um, I'll put the files on my blog. Again, there's not much to actually say or see because it's pretty easy, but I'll put this stuff on the blog so you can copy it and see it. So for the next video, I'm not sure, I might I might take a look at another task, one, maybe a letter, we'll see. If you've got any suggestions about anything that you want me to make a, a tutorial on, then you can write to me at this address, Kevin at Prepare IELTS dot com and I'll see what I can do okay excellent right um hope that was useful again pretty short but as you can see the process questions they are that simple so I'll see you next time